What's going on, everyone? This is Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded, an Al Lowe made remake from 2013 of the original Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, yeah. Classic Larry theme, written by Al Lowe. I've never played this before. I'm very excited to play this. I have to give a shout out right at the top to friend of the channel, Boston Lowe, for actually gifting me this game. Uh, so. I think I can skip the tutorial. I'm feeling pretty confident that we don't need that. I'm curious what options we got. Voice only. Can we get voice and subtitles? I like that. We mess with the stations at all on this. <laughs> Classic, but in desperate need of repair a television. Come on, Larry. I know you only have like $90 to your name, but we can do better in that TV. All right, backward all began. Sturgeon General's warning. As like I said, I've never played this, so I don't know if they've added new stuff, if they've deviated from the story. The, the story. He's just trying to have sex, but <laughs> you know, I don't know what to expect. They still have the uh, parental guidance test here, I guess. The challenge. How old am I? I'm in the 19 to 39 category at the time of this. Not to date myself, but. <laughs> Checks out. All right. I don't know how Allo knew how old I was, but there we go. Five simple questions. I love this, man. This takes me back to when I wasn't old enough to play this game, and I had to memorize the correct answers to all these questions. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Probably. I mean, if we're just going with the queen, then B, right? But that is two questions. I guess we'll go with the queen. Yeah, all right, queen. Which was not a Bart Simpson catchphrase. This is right up my alley. <laughs> Got Gandalf right off the top. Ay, caramba, eat my shorts. Don't have a cow, man. Those are all classics from like the first two seasons. Let's go with the Gandalf. This is as fun as the game is, as far as I'm concerned. I'm loving this. What was the most important invention of the 20th century? Uh, the internet, Viagra, adventure games. Well, I think you could make the argument that a lot of these, knowing Aloe's pedigree, I'm gonna say adventure games. That's how I feel. Which is the best answer to the question, does this make me look fat? <laughs> Not if I squint. <laughs> Only around the edges. And it's a trick question. There is no good answer. Been there. We all have. I think we have the raunchiest setting if it's anything like the third Leisure Suit Larry game. By the way, we just did a ranking of the entire Leisure Suit Larry series, the original Al Lowe made games, one through seven. Just uh, was in a Leisure Suit Larry mood and thought I'd play a game we never played before. All right. Uber Raunchy. Your name is Larry, Larry Laffer. You've arrived in beautiful lost wages without luggage. The airline lost it. Without a hotel reservation, you forgot to get one. And without a clue, you've never had one. You exit the cab. The hot, dry air of lost wages hits you in the face like a hard slap. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. Some... After your cab ride, you may be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the leisure suit. You're in town to find true love. And if you happen to get lucky along the way, that's okay. After all, you're nearly 40. And still a bird, still untouched by human hands. Look out, ladies! I'm finding love tonight. I uh, love that they have first off voice acting. Secondly, that they got Jan Rabson to reprise his role as the titular leisure suit wearing Larry. Rest in peace, Jan. He passed away in the last year at the time of my playing. That love that voice. So let's find out what we got going on here. Save off and save early, even when it comes to remakes. Larry. Hello, pup. Uh-oh, that's Bear, the dog. 
In Lost Wages, Bear is famous for getting off his leash and spreading sunshine wherever he goes. That's cute. If you act in a non-threatening manner long enough, maybe he'll come over and say hi sometime. Oh, we just saved. Come over and say hi, Bear. Um, fun f What? Did you bring a fresh... Uh, <laughs> is that like a game over oh, situation? Bear, always spreading sunshine. He's so happy. Look at his little smile. All right. Um, all right. So that's good. Got the zipper, of course. You quickly check your fly by zipping it up and down a few times. Zips up, zips down in an instant for easy access. <laughs> yeah, baby. So yes, I want to experience as much of the clicking around and clicking the zipper icon on everything as much as possible. What's the, oh, that's my inventory. Oh, the Lipsterine. Awesome. Man, like when did Banaka stop becoming a thing? When I was a little kid, I bought some Banaka and carried it around and started, you know, I enjoyed using it because of Leaf Suit Larry and then it just disappeared at some point. Awesome. My favorite, a little thumbs up to the camera. All right. Save off and try. Maybe I. All right, let me know if the bings start up again. The dings and the bings. Anything? Bactana, Banaka, little breast spray. A little aerosol in your, yeah. That's dark. It sucked into the ground. Oh my god. What the? Am I still playing? Success! He's alive! Alive! This is quite the death sequence. All I did was get hit by a car. Daventry. Odd. Uh, but we're fine. All right, that's good. Maybe the compulsive saving isn't that the big a deal. The street continues on in both directions, but you don't see any amusing destinations within walking distance. I love the lefties animation here, by the way. This sign identifies the bar as lefties, where people drink liberally. Don't leave. Let's head around the corner here, see what we got. Can we go behind it? I think we can cross the street over here. A sense of foreboding washes over your heart when your eyes slowly examine this dark alley. It seems to be just outside every public area in Lost Wages. All right, just no! castrate. How oh, good, Wedgie. No! Oh. This point Larry, just... didn't your mother ever warn you about going into dark alleys? Am I gonna get sucked into the ground again? I don't remember this at all. That was a thing? All right. Open! Nothing happens. Maybe you're thinking of that other game, Leisure <laughs> Suit Larry and the Demon of Agrabah. Oh, why isn't that a thing? Look at that mean-looking meow meow. The pussy is avoiding you. Uh, Sound familiar? Yeah. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. The cat ignores you, choosing to go about licking itself, looking cynical, and being alert for food. Aw, it thinks it's people <laughs> from L.A. <laughs> the cat isn't letting you get close enough to sniff it. I know. If I can't sniff it, how do I know which one of us is dominant? <laughs> it's not you, Larry. All right. We're not going to get that crude yet as to try the zipper icon. Ah, oh, scared the meow away. All right. Let's go into lefties, finally. Just want to see. Holy like... cannoli! It smells like a fire hydrant just walked in here. Is that Ken? He looks like someone from your distant past, but you just can't put your finger on him. Good it's... thing too. <laughs> it's weird how everyone is looking at me as soon as I walked in, and they're content to just keep looking at me. Ooh. One of Lefty's conquests. Good for Lefty, if so. He appears to be perverted, twisted, and sick. 
you instantly take a liking to him. <laughs> That's Jordan Lee. He's here frequently, and they say he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Curiously, in Florida, Arizona, and Montana, just to watch him die is a valid legal defense against homicide. <laughs> hey, loser! Wanna go get into some serious fucking trouble? Hey! No! That's a shame. I know some major <laughs> going down tonight. It's gonna be awesome. That sounds boss. No, it doesn't. Boss? Is this the guy we should get to know a little because better? people don't mess around with you. They misjudge me. For instance, just because I know 1,001 ways to inflict pain on the human body doesn't mean I like to hurt people. I suddenly have to go. I get that a lot. <laughs> Does everyone have this many lines of dialogue? The gentleman filling his face is Tom King, a regular at lefties and the kind of guy you Eat. love to have with you at the movies, so you don't have to talk to him for two hours. <laughs> Looking at me? Can't blame you, actually. I got that handsome, roguish look. It's a curse. But hey, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> of course I do. Yeah, I'm sure you know lots of handsome guys in my situation. These, like, big donors of the Kickstarter or something like that get special attention. This international bon vivant, Francois de Keat, is one of Lefty's big investors. And being from Europe, he's extremely cool. Wow, you're cool! <laughs> I know, right? It's almost too cool how cool I am, n'est-ce pas? Ooh, and you speak Klingon, too! <laughs> no, I don't think so. <sighs> I resent your chiseled features, your height, and your easy-going, laid-back demeanor. Can I have your life? <laughs> no, I have too much cool to fit into that little body. I wouldn't have known that was his character from looking at him. He just kind of looks like a disheveled drunk, but that's fine. Wearing like a Captain Planet shirt or something. How did I not start with you? Hello. What's a hot babe like that doing in a miserable, smelly, broken-down joint like this? Hey, it's... Bob, just keep that kind of narration to yourself. The narrator sounds like a takeoff of the guy from, you know, the later Luke Shoot Larry games in the series. Hello. You must be tired. You've been running through my mind all day. Classic. I know, but you keep following me anyway. Huh. That usually works quite well. Sorry if this sounds a little squirrely, baby. But baby. I'd like to store you in my cheek pouches for a snowy day. Really? I'd like to crack your skull like a nut and bury your brains in the park. Alrighty then. Don't listen to her. I hope everyone's taking notes. Larry is dropping some We're nuggets really right now. To make a connection, eh? oh, I wish it was long distance. It's pretty good. Only thing better is what's your sign? Octagonal, as in stop. First rule of socializing, Larry. Look at the person you're trying to engage with, particularly when they helped pay for you to be here. There you go. Here's the uh, major Kickstarter donors. That's cool. The one with the bottomless gut is Michael Hirschman. He's been coming to lefties for years. I wonder how much he dropped to be in the game. Running up a classically huge bar tab. He Whoa, just motto. paid it back, which is partly the reason lefties is open tonight. <laughs> yeah? What's up? I was just looking for women. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. It's pretty much a sausage fest here. I mean, I'm pretty, but not that pretty. You know what I mean? I sure do. No, you don't. Did they get to record their own lines too, I wonder? Whoever decided that darts is the perfect game for drunks deserves a medal. That's a good point. Ooh, Pud Beer, my favorite. This sleazy bar gives you the creeps. Fortunately, the creeps are all ignoring you. How much money do we have, by the way? I said 90 bucks. 94 dollars. All right, there we go. Yeah, so maybe you couldn't have afforded a better television. I know we do our gambling at the casino, but I see a slot machine right here. Or a video slot machine. Nice. Uh, bet. Is that worth anything? No? Alright. Three bars. Make quite a return on our investment. <gasps> nice! That was a bit of a Legend of Zelda. Da -da -da -da. All right, it this, feels oddly. This isn't really my game. As much as, uh, you know, poker, 
video poker, video blackjack, whatever they got at the casino. This Hello. is the famous portrait, Mona Little Louder. You check for a safe behind the painting, but it appears to have been glued to the wall with beer and nicotine. Fifi could have found it. You pick up lefties, but realizing that you have no <laughs> place to put it, you gently set it back right where you got it. I don't know, as we learned in uh, Luigi Larry 6, he's clearly got a room. No, I'm sorry, Space Quest 6. Roger has a lot of room in there. Maybe Larry's packing, I don't know. Let's check the bathroom, right? You are in a dimly lit hallway. The peeling wallpaper gives the roaches something to watch. Clutter fills the room, and a filthy drunk wearing filthy clothes sits on the filthy floor, leaning his filthy back against the filthy wall. It's like, uh, something out of uh, The Grinch, but drunk. Hello. Wanting to be humane to the drunk, you clap him firmly on the shoulder, stroke <laughs> his head, pat his hand, and get up close to him. So tell me, how are you doing? Ah, oh, thanks for asking, buddy. I'd be just great if only my impetigo would clear up. <laughs> yeah. Once more, you get close, <laughs> but not too close to the drunk. We gotta smell Have this you guy. you thought about going to a doctor? Nah, you go to a doctor, and they just want to make you better. Well, you get sick again. It's a you scam. You start this yeah. cycle of destruction. No, thank you. All right, I gotta smell this guy. You reel back at the putrid stench of the offensive bum who can probably hear <laughs> every word we're saying about him. <laughs> Keep your thoughts to yourself there, Larry. Uh, bush beer gives you great head. Is that a good thing? I get what they're trying to do. There's, uh, what's that fish's name that comes off the board thingy? You're already Best well wiped. Oh my god, look at this. Score! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Ah, I love that they put that in. Fantastic. That was one of my favorite things about Love for Sale. Yeah, baby! Something tells me there's not going to be any Where's Dildo appearances, but still. That's pretty awesome. Alright, do you gotta use? You yeah, pee baby. into the toilet. Wonderful. <sighs> Wish I Great. got a... You hit the top, the seat, the tank, everything but the bowl. Maybe that's why I never got 100 points for... Yeah. My aim's actually pretty good. Not to brag. Lefty's restroom walls are filled with clever reading material. Enough to keep you reading for a long, long time. I think... There was some graffiti worth reading when we were uh, in the original game. Here's one. Who do I have to sleep with to get laid around here? Eh. Here's one. Down with repression. Hell yeah. Here's one. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. Here's one. Peeing in public should be a mist demeanor. Wow, you're the cleverest. <laughs> cleverest guy in the bar at lefties. If I could have said that right, that would have been better. Yeah, let's lick my, the... My, uh... my. Aren't we the little sicko today? I'm trying everything, narrator. I'm very excited. Here's one. I was here at the crack of dawn, and she was delicious. Ooh. Here's one. There are two kinds of people in this world. People who can extrapolate from incomplete data. <laughs> Here's one. Attention, people who say adventure games are dead. Please don't eat the urinal cakes. <laughs> Here's one. Who do I... Oh. Here's one. All right, well, never mind. I thought there was some, uh... All right. I'm mistaken. Flush? Oh, well, that's... You grab an ancient copy of Flutter, the magazine of nude skydiving, and settle in to sit and think. You feel a great relief. What's that aroma? You lick yourself. <laughs> oh my god! I taste good! Speaking right objectively, of course. We've already gone to the restroom twice Carefully in this game. Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. That's two more times than I think literally every game I've ever played on this channel. You turn on the hot tap. Immediately, steam starts to chug from the spigot. Technically, steam is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice some writing in the mirror. Ken sent me. That could be important. 
I'll have to remember it. You grab a scrap of toilet paper and, cleverly chewing one of your fingernails to the quick, you scrawl the words, Ken sent me in blood on the paper. You turn off the hot tap and the mist slowly clears. You start to wash your hands, then you realize. So you wash your hands as well as you can and wipe them on the back of your shirt, under your jacket where the wet spots won't show. Pro move. All right, Ken sent me. That is the code to get into the back room at Lefties, if memory serves, but I'm not sure. Jeez, did something die in there? It's pretty bad if you can smell it through the door, Larry. What did you eat before we started playing? Pud. Hey, dork. Okay. You got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. Ha ha ha. You see that from that angle. Whatever your name was. Let's order us a you drink. You take a seat on an available bar stool. Hello. What'll it be? Uh, give me wussy. Thank you. Mike was here again. Mike must have really shelled out. A round. I don't think we can afford a round. Maybe after we go to the casino and have a nice night there. Give me a whiskey. I want to fine well whiskey. Barkeep. He did eat garbage shrimp. I'm sorry. Twice. <laughs> Forgot about the garbage. Give me five dollars, please. Dumpster you flip shrimp. five bucks onto the counter. You don't drink the whiskey, but instead decide to carry it with you wherever you go, precariously balanced in an open shot glass. Just one of those little mysteries of the universe as to how we manage that. Five dollars for a whiskey, blah, though. Blah 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 blah. Twenty-five bucks, same as in town. <laughs> so, what was the setup to that punchline? Oh, is there like a listen icon? Maybe it's a zipper. Larry, have some decorum. You're in the presence of a master storyteller here. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. All right. Well, got our whiskey. Let's. Uh, actually, you know who might Lefty's want that whiskey. door is stout and thick, just like you. I thought when I did that, he leaned up against the wall and started putting out the vibes. Yeah, adjust yourself there, Larry. It's not like people were watching. Let's try giving the whiskey to our new friend back here. Commends for stinking up the restroom. Want this? He knows what to do. Now sell me the cheat book so I can beat that guy in the arcade the spot. in Space you Quest know, 6. You must be my only friend in the whole world. So uh, I'm gonna give you my only possess- my only possess- all I got in the world. Is that a condom? Besides, what's a guy like me oh, need with a coaster? I mean, what am I? High society? Yeah, baby. You know what, though? Larry's a virgin. He might not know the difference between a drink coaster and a condom, so. Heine! Just noticed the Heine brand. Can I put it? You slip a buck into the jukebox and search for a suitably sleazy selection. Yeah, they let you play all the different tracks in the game in the first one. The theme from Bo Larry. Yes, please. I guess we already heard this one. I picked the one that we already heard. I like the crossover though. From 8-bit to... Full band. How is not everyone jumping up from their stools and just dancing around right now? Kind of, you know, shaking their glasses around and... I'm not, all right, they're getting drunk, that's fine. Let's explore more of Lost Wages. Hello. Apples! Apples! Apples for sale! Get your fresh apples here. Only one dollar. Well, I happen to know how important an apple might be in this game, so I'm gonna make a purchase right now. I can afford it. One dollar? Here's a buck. I'll take an apple. Thank you, sir. Here Thank you go. God, he pulled out an apple. Um... Yeah. Like most inanimate objects, it uh, uh, whatever. I guess we could have talked to him, smelled him, and or done other things with him, but he's gone. Taxi! Yeah, baby! <laughs> so many yeah babies. I will never get tired of that. The cabbie isn't here for your sparkling co Oh. 
All right, hold on. Sure. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a bigger scare, I think, than most horror games I played when I missed the taxi. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.